In today's video, we paint my wife's MDX with glow-in-the-dark bed liner. Let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to more Motorsports Garage. Hope everyone's having a blessed day. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button and turn that bell icon on to get notified of every upload. So if you haven't already guessed, this is going to be a wild project. If it works, it's going to be absolutely awesome. Um, but we don't know if it works until we try. No risk, no reward. So I'm going to go ahead and sand my wife's Accurate MDX down uh, with 180 grit, uh, taping things up and taking things off. We've already taken the uh, rails on the roof off and some other things, um, but we're going to take off more. We're going to go sand this whole thing down. There's a lot of attention to detail we're going to have to pay here. Pay real close attention because this is chipped off. This is chipped off. So we have to very thoroughly sand. Right down here, you can see someone repainted in the past and it's chipped off. So after I get this entire thing sanded, we're going to try to uh, get it in a paint booth to where I can lay down the white. But basically I'm going to lay down a white base coat with uh, Rust-Oleum Advanced Formula spray paint. And then over that, we're going to go over it with the white bed liner. I'll show you how to mix all that stuff up. We're going to add the pigment powder. And we're going to hope this baby glows. But I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you are new here, please subscribe. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so it took a few hours to get to this point with the help of my wife. It's a huge shout out to my wife for helping me. Usually I don't have help, so I went by a lot quicker. Pulled out the fogs, had to hand sand a few spots. Um, pulled the grill out. There's one, two, three, four, five, six screws it looks like. Uh, I think, maybe seven or eight. And the grill comes out, you have to take bumper off to do that. Got the mud flaps off. We do have some exposed metal, so I have to cover those up. We're going to go ahead and pressure wash it, get all the uh, sanding dust off and all that. But uh, yeah, it's basically sanded now. And next step is to get it to a paint booth or a shop um, where I can actually paint it. But we're going to go ahead and get it uh, all sprayed off and then we'll worry about that stuff. Okay, so we're here at Wet Work Auto Body and Paint in Colleen, Texas. Huge shout out to them for letting me rent their booth for this video. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and tape plastic the windows and stuff like that. My wife and I sanded this down. It's been sanded for four weeks. There was a, uh, a delay in letting me get into the booth, but uh, it's all taken care of now. We're here, so we're going to knock this out. We're going to lay down a white base coat with spray paint. It works really well in my experience. It doesn't have chipping issues. Uh, we lay the white base and then we can go over it with the white bed liner with the glow-in-the-dark pigment. But I'm going to go ahead and add the glow-in-the-dark pigment to the paint and we'll get it on the paint shaker. So let's go do that. Okay, as for this part, we have a pint and a half of polyurethane uh, single stage white. And we're basically going to add the glow-in-the-dark pigment. We've got seven packets, I believe, glow-in-the-dark pigment powder. We're just going to add them all into the white put it on the paint shaker and see if it glows so we have no idea if this will work yet because i've never done it and that's why we're experimenting with it now 
So if this works, it's definitely going to be a game changer for sure. I'm not sure how it'll work with a solid, um, like a, I could see it working with like a pearl or something that goes in a clear, but I'm not sure if it'll work with this white, but we're going to go ahead and add this in, shake it up, and then when we go to use the Raptor liner, we're going to pour in uh, the proper amount of paint into this and the hardener, shake it up, put it on the gun, and go lay the paint, but we're going to go ahead and add these now. I will leave a link in the description for the Raptor liner kit. Now I had this paint locally mixed up at a local paint shop and I will leave a link in the description for the glow in the dark pigment that we have right here. Just to show you, there's the glow in the dark. It's definitely glowing. So this is going to be really cool if this works. You can see that's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and shake it on the paint shaker real quick, and then we'll add some more in. All right, go ahead and add some more. Okay, moment of truth to see if it worked. That's not a lot, but it's there. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the white base coat, and then we will pour that in to the Raptor liner container. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, now that we've got it all prepped and ready, I've wiped it down. We're going to go ahead and take the white Rust-Oleum High Performance Enamel and we're going to lay down the white base coat. Then we will come in, mix the white with the Raptor liner and get to laying on the uh, white paint. So, hope you guys enjoy.
good. So now I get to mix up the Raptor lighter and shoot the white over this. Okay, we've got four liters here. We're gonna start with four and try to see if we can cover the whole thing with the four. If not, we've got a little bit more back there. Um, since I only have one of these mixing cups and I wanna be able to see in it, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up eight fluid ounces of hardener in each one of these, get them ready, and then we can pour the color in, which is four ounces of the color, and uh, make sure to get that ratio just right on each and every one of them. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. All right, now that we've got the hardener in all four of these liters here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and add four ounces of white glow-in-the-dark paint to each of them. And we hope and pray that this glows in the dark. If not, it'll still be nice and my wife will like it, but it'd be really cool if we get it to glow. Now we just screw it right into the gun, hook it up to air, and I like to shoot mine around 50, 60 PSI. Uh, it really just depends. You got to mess with it. Um, if you like more texture, go lower pressure. If you want it a little bit smoother but still have some texture, go a little bit higher in pressure. But uh, ultimately, it's up to you how to shoot. But I'm going to go ahead and put the respirator on, adjust the pressure, and get to laying paint. definitely enough for this having a white base coat and then doing white on top was a great idea um, but yeah it looks really good all the way through I haven't found any imperfections yet it just looks phenomenal uh, I also did inside the gas lid so all of that's covered um, now we will be peeling the paint uh, the tape while the paint is still tacky you peel away from the paint um, be very careful when doing this you don't want to wait till it's dry because it can actually bond um, so like the paint on the tape can bond to the paint right there and then when you peel the tape it'll peel off some of the actual paint 
I found this out the hard way. So that's why I always peel while it is still tacky. Don't rest your hand on the paint while doing it. Just make sure you're being very careful when you're up close to it, um, that you're not touching it or anything. So just be very careful and peel the tape off. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, please consider subscribing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the booth lights to see if it glows. I got my little UV light. It's hard to pick up on camera, but it definitely does glow in the dark. Isn't that awesome? So as you can see, this part definitely did glow. I think if we were to have it out in the sun and then pull it in the garage and shut the door quickly, we might actually be able to see this thing glow all the way. But it's mostly put back together. I still have to get back to the house and assemble some of the other uh, pieces that I'm bedlining black. Then we can fully reassemble it and see what it looks like in the daytime. All right, here's the MDX out in the sun. It took like four days for the sun to come out. It's been crazy gloomy, but patience is paying off. It looks really, really good. My wife is super happy with it. Uh, it's a little bit dirty already because it rained. We got a little bit of the super easy to clean bed liner. And it looks awesome. Also, when you open the door jams, they're white, so it blends pretty well. And uh, sorry about the wind, guys, but I went ahead and put everything on, like the mirror pieces here, um, the roof luggage racks, and uh, yeah. So we're basically ready. It's been charging out in the sun for a while. Um, we're going to go ahead and pull this into the garage and shut the garage door and hope we can pick it up on camera. Okay, it's definitely glowing. Um, unfortunately, it's not showing up on camera, like on the video mode, but it's showing up on the pictures with no problem. So I'm definitely going to put some pictures in. Okay, so these are the pictures I literally just took. There's no editing done or anything. That's how much it's glowing. Uh, you just can't pick it up on this GoPro for whatever reason, but what do you think? Are you happy with it? Yes. Okay. Wife approves. I think it looks really cool. That's good enough for me. Well, there you have it. It definitely does glow. I wish I could have got it better on camera. I don't know how dip your car got it so well on theirs. Whatever camera they're running is definitely better than my GoPro Hero 9. Um, so with that being said, uh, I did try to charge it up with 
some black lights. Unfortunately, I would need the flood black lights like Dip Your Car had. So if you haven't checked out Dip Your Car's video on their glow in the dark pigment video, definitely go do so. It is a really good video. Um, but yeah, I would definitely need something like that and a really good camera to pick it up. But it definitely glows and it looks super awesome. Um, but yeah, this definitely wasn't an easy task, mostly because of the time. Um, I've had, God has literally made me into a more patient person with this. So huge shout out to God um, for that. I am not usually a patient person and I had to wait over a month just to get it painted. So it was sanded for a whole month. Um, the deal was I sand it and then I can bring it to the shop on Friday and that didn't happen. Four weeks went by before I could get it to the shop because they were just busy. But uh, either way, God always puts us through these tests and makes us uh, appreciate the things that we do have and just want to say I wouldn't be where I'm at without God. So, um, yeah, it's definitely looking good. The wife's happy about it. The kids love it. And uh, it's not ugly no more. Uh, sorry about the GoPro doing that, like, that black line right there. You see that? That's it trying to autofocus with the lighting in here. Um, but, yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, share the video around if you want to share this cool little setup with anyone. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to Texas Hana channel, there's a link in the description. So you can go over there and subscribe, see more about this. We're going to be doing some more mods to it. I recently did a minivan intake manifold on this and it made it quicker. So you definitely want to check that out. Uh, go over there and subscribe. But uh, yeah, there'll definitely be more coming. So I hope you guys uh, stick around and see more because we definitely have more coming to this channel. We'll be getting a laser engraver on the channel. Uh, within the next week or so maybe less um, so if god is willing we'll have another video coming out shortly so definitely subscribe but until next time god bless stay safe stay awesome